After a year, I am finally making the worst movie translations too. There will be a rank of five plus a bonus. And my main source of all of this are your comments. Okay, so without further ado, I always wanted to say that. Let's just do it. Okay, so number five, the, uh, what, what's the, this title is too long. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Mindlessly in Love. The Polish title can have several meanings, actually. Uh, if you get it as a phrase, it means that you're crazy in love, that someone is crazy in love and they just forget about the rest of the world. But you can also split it and then it just means that, that someone is in love and has no memory. They are kind of similar, but not exactly the same. So it is kind of a play on words, I think. Uh, and it uh, has a lot of sense when you think about the plot of the movie, but it's just really very different from the original one. And many Polish people, when they see the original title, they're like, what? <laughs> I, I, I even had to look it up like a second ago before talking about it because I wasn't sure if I remember the full title well because it's so long and I don't understand it fully. With all the English I have in me, I, I must say that I, I, I'm not sure if I understand it well. And I wanted to mention it in the rank because it's just a bit weird, but it's number five because I, I feel like we could give this one a break because if I were to uh, translate this title, I would probably... I would probably not come up with anything better or maybe even anything at all. So, yeah. So it's not that bad, it's just very different and I needed to point it out. Oh, and if I translated the Polish version not the way you would want, uh, sorry, <laughs> but uh, it's really not that simple to translate it from Polish to English. Number four, Fight Club, The Underground Circle. This one is also not that bad, um, especially that mostly the Polish titles make the movie more obvious. Uh, they kind of explain the whole plot and stuff. Uh, but in this case, actually the Polish uh, translation makes the movie more, more mysterious, I guess, because you just hear that it's an underground circle. No one knows what, what's up. <laughs> uh, and but I I've never heard anyone anyone who's Polish and who would say podziemny krąg. Just never. People just say Fight Club. And in my opinion, this movie could have not even been translated. Like the title could have not even been tra translated because most Polish people know what Fight Club means. And it could have just been Klub Walki, it wouldn't sound stupid or anything. So, yeah, so it's kind of surprising, but you know, the 90s. <laughs> Number three, going the distance. Intercity intercourses. And just like in the previous episode in uh, Dan in Real Life, Again, it's a romantic comedy, so why do I care and stuff, but uh, I watched this movie two times and that's a lot for for me, in my case. Uh, and, and I really liked it and, uh, and, and, that, and the fact that it's translated the way it is, I mean, it is a play on words because um, stosunki can either mean intercourses, but also it can mean a relationship. Uh, when you're w dobrych stosunkach with someone, it means that you're getting along. But, uh, so it is a play on words, but, and it makes a lot of sense for the plot, but still, uh, it makes it way more shallow. Wow. And going the distance sounds just, I don't know, more pleasant, just more neutral, I guess, more romantic even. And intercity intercourses, uh, really? <laughs> Just no. Number two, if I stay. Stay if you love. So the problem with this one, uh, and the reason that it's number two, at first and it might seem weird, uh, that I uh, put it that high, but uh, in fact, 
the book is uh, translated in a proper way exactly as the English title which is Yeshli Zostane but the movie was translated Stay If You Love okay and now after the movie is there uh, the books that came out after the movie was produced they are uh, named the same as the movie is what does that say about modern culture <laughs> of course that the movies are dominant over books even if they're an adaptation of the book and this is not the first time that happened okay so before i reveal the number one that you probably figured out already let's do a speed round of other ridiculous titles dear john i still love her he's just not that into you women desire stronger forgetting sarah marshall guys cry too knock knock who's there war dogs war sharks epic the mystery of the green kingdom highlander immortal the big country the white canyon music and lyrics into the heart touching the void waiting for joe despicable me how to steal the moon despicable me too minions mess around the perks of being a wallflower charlie so number one dirty dancing spinning sex i cannot believe i forgot about this in the previous video it's just insane that i oh god maybe it's not the worst translation that has ever been made but it's just uh like this movie is a classic right I mean, I'm not sure if I like it really, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, and translating that kind of movie in such a wrong way is just is just wrong. And this movie is not like for adults or anything, right? I watched it when I was like 11 probably. And it's just about dancing and being in love and stuff. And Dirty Dancing kind of like makes... Uh, a reference to dirty stuff <laughs> but uh, there's a slight difference between dirty dancing and spinning sex and I am really trying not to be a prude in here but it's really um, like when a kid in the US says dirty dancing it definitely doesn't sound the same as when a kid in Poland says wirujący sex the Polish title kind of sounds like a porn movie so this was definitely unfortunate but I'm thinking how could how could it have been translated to make it better? Niegrzeczny taniec? something like that it sounds way better and is almost an exact translation pen drop so that's it for today tell me in the comments if you agree with things I said or not or whatever <laughs> what are your ideas for maybe a, maybe better translations of those movies and remember to subscribe and like the video and see you in the next one bye